Hello and welcome to episode 43 of the 30s podcast. My name is Clint. Uncle Marcus. How's it going, you slurp? It's going great today with no context as to what that means. <laughs> slurp. <laughs> we have producer Caesar with us. Yo, yo, yo. Hi, everybody. Caesar, make sure you put in a picture of a lick of tongue right now right. so people know slurp, slurp. that's what the slurp is. Right before this, Marcus said, I know what lick a tongue means in German. <laughs> I know how to. I know what Lickitung's name is in German. The Pokemon. Are there different names for Pokemon in other languages? Yeah, like every language. Well, well yeah, what? because like yeah. oh, we're, well, Pikachu. Why would you call? Would you call well, that's Pikachu? the same. His name is Pikachu in most languages. I think all of them probably. Uh huh. But like so, nerd rant. I guess so, Pokemon is a Japanese franchise, right? So they created those monsters and gave them names, and then. Once it's translated into other languages, sometimes those names don't make sense. Mm -hmm. So they turn into whatever. So like Charmander, his name in Japanese, I believe is Hitokage. Hitokage. Which is, I think that means like Flame Shadow or something. Ooh, flame Shadow? Something like that. Like flame Shadow. Kage is Shadow. Hito, I don't really know what it is. But um, uh, and they call him Charmander in English. Char? It's like Char is fire. Yeah. Mander, like Salamander. Mm -hmm. um, Bulbasaur. I think the name is like Fushigi Dane. I don't know what that means in Japanese. <laughs> Ooh, that was a, you said that really quick. Thank you. But then wow. Bulbasaur in English. Bulbasaur, yeah. Bulb on his back. is yeah, you can't harder have, for... You can't have eight-year-olds in America saying, Fushigi Dane, <laughs> Fushigi Dane, Fushigi Dane. <laughs> it's not going to catch on. No, they won't be able to say it. <laughs> Fushigi Kage. But then, instead, they're like, Jiggly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jigglypuff. <laughs> what is Jigglypuff? Is his, its name is Purin. But... I mean, it's like pudding. That's what per, pudding is. Purin. Purin. I think I think in Japanese, I could be wrong. In Japanese or German? Japanese. Japanese. That's a Japanese hmm. name. I think that means pudding. Yeah. Dooley Puff looks like a pudding. I like to think that, like the, so so they're trying to rename everything in German. They're like, I, I don't know. I, I, we can't can translate imagine, this. Can you imagine a German saying, <laughs> Fushigi Dane? <laughs> or or got, Yeah, there's like a group of them that are like, I don't think it's what we're doing. This no, is not going to work. We say slurp <laughs> instead. No, you know what's easier? And then someone just makes the noise and they're slurp. like, that's what we're going with. <laughs> they're like, I bet yes. that that means slurp. Probably. Slurp. I'm going to say it's got slurp. That big tongue. Slurp. That and should be. Enough about Pokemon. That's better than cap. Cap. All the other words. Oh. The, other, the popular words. Mm. Someone showed me a TikTok where. It's talking about all the millennial phrases we have. Oh, I see. And then the Gen explain cap Z. to me. Cap is, I think it's like capacity. Capacity. No, cap just means lie. 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 Yeah, like no lie, like no cap. No cap. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And then when you're saying that's cap, like you're saying that's not true. Who made Who made that up? I don't know, but I just know <clears> that's what it means. No, that's cap. <laughs> so you're like no cap. I'm not lying. And then uh, yeah. oh, Man. since we're talking about Pokemon, <laughs> so no lie. When I was in high school. With the group of people that I was involved with, they were not my friends, but they allowed me to sit with them at, at lunch. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, like, what would be the equivalent to today as bet or, like, truth, whatever, you would say Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Why Jigglypuff yeah. for that? I don't know why. I don't know where what? that came from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a thing amongst this group of... They were Asian. But not that, okay. that has to do with All it, right, I don't yeah. think. All but right. um, be like, they'd be like, oh, did you fucking go to... What's the same house on Saturday? And like, no, like you're lying. You, I know you were there. Like Jigglypuff, I was not there. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so yes, weird. It does because Jigglypuff, he did. They don't make you like tell the truth. I don't know. Like, I think it was just a funny word. That, Jigglypuff makes you fall asleep. Yeah, and then she'll write on your. Face. I always assumed it was a she. I assume, yeah, but there was a point when they they gave the that was, Pokemon's genders. That's kind of like sassy. Sassy. Just very much like Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Yeah. Slay. Yeah. We should do the same. Jigglypuff. Is there a slay Pokemon yet? There's gotta um, be. Uh, Jinx. Jinx, yeah. yeah. Jinx slays all day. <laughs> Jinx is Caesar, just... put in a picture of Jinx right here. Yeah, Jinx um, is slaying. This is the slay Pokemon slay. right here. There this is. has to be the slay Pokemon. This is basically a drag queen. Yeah. Who else is doing right? that? Do you know what Jinx looks like, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jinx is a drag queen. Huh. Surprised Slay. that Florida hasn't gone against Jinx yet. <laughs> <laughs> to say to see what I'm making a law against yeah. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> today, today on White News, Jinx is being canceled by the state of Florida. <laughs> Not Jinx. We love <laughs> Not Jinx. Not Jinx. You were one of the good ones. I think there was some 
controversy with Jinx. Maybe it wasn't Jinx. Where she used to have a black face, oh. and then they changed oh, yeah, it yeah. to purple. Yeah, it huh. was like a good call. I don't know somebody. It was outrage. Yeah. So they made her a purple instead of uh, black. Well, I would. I don't know. Like from the the Game Boy Color one. Yeah, from the original. I mean, it was kind of when black she, and white in the. Well, there's game. Still, there was still, still um, color. Well, in the show. Oh. And then there was still official art of that of that Pokemon, mm. and it had its face was black, and then they're like na na na. So <laughs> then they made her purple. Jinx, it has to Man. be a her only. That's got to be a cheat. Because I don't got, know. That's a, from the picture day. that was here. It's got boobs. Not that that uh, today doesn't matter. I don't it's know. a day. Yeah, it's a day. It's a day. Um, I think so. Yeah, shout out Jinx. Shout out Jinx. We love our queens. Shout out Slurp. Slay. And uh, Slay. Yeah, Slay. Thanks, Slay. Um, I don't know how we got onto this topic, <laughs> but um, happy Easter, everybody. Happy uh, Easter. I think this is going to come up before Easter, but we'll call this the Easter episode. Happy Ramadan. Happy Ramadan if you celebrate. Did you start your timer, by the yes, way? I did. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Marcus left his phone at home. We can talk about that. I am I feel neutered, Do castrated, because I don't have my phone, and that's kind of sad. It's it's weird, right? Yeah, I just forgot my do? phone. I grabbed grabbed my, my bag and my hydro flask and went out the door and just didn't grab my phone and didn't realize it till I was on the road. And wasn't going to turn around, mm -hmm. but yeah, it just feels weird to not have my phone. Yeah. I I didn't have my headphones at the gym. Oh, no. And that was weird. Yeah. Even though there's music playing and there's it's TVs the around, same. it's not the same. It's not your music or your I, TV yeah. show. Because I realized, oh, this music gets me moving mm -hmm. to the next machine. Yeah. I didn't have my headphones at work a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Or I had them. I forgot to charge them. Do you listen to headphones during work? Uh, before I got on the floor, oh, yeah, like yeah. in prepping and all that, I have my headphones on, and it was very strange. Mm -hmm. You know, just being in a silent kitchen. Ugh. There's nothing. Spooky. It's a, I didn't like it. But yeah, I don't have my phone, and it sucks. God. What does that say about us today? I don't know. Because would you have felt like this growing up? No, because I didn't have a phone. No. So. When's the first time you really noticed <clears throat> that you you need your phone around? Usually the um, first time you forget it at home. Well, that's the thing. I never forget my... I always do the, the pocket pat. Yeah. Pocket pat before I leave. So phone, keys, wallet. Just have it. Phone, so keys, I, wallet. I want to say the last time I did not have my phone in terms of leaving it somewhere, it's been like years. Yeah. Years and years. I just don't do it. And um, I mean, I don't really feel... Like, I'm going to miss anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not worried about anything, you know. But it is, I can't just go. It is, it's just a weird. It's just yeah. weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ugh. There's so much you're missing. Yeah. yeah. Caesar and I are in a group chat. Oh. Talking shit about you. Oh, that you'd normally well, if I wasn't in it, then I wouldn't know. Well, <laughs> joke's on you because I have my laptop right here. Ooh, it's hooked up it? to the internet, and I have my text messages pulled up, and you're not fucking texting <laughs> But even that, like, I'm not a big texter anyway, and I'm usually I usually text back like whenever I feel like it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not that guy that's glued to his phone. But now that I don't have my phone, I am aware that I don't have my phone. So it's a little strange, man. But you know. you're safe. You have your your computer. <laughs> Shut you're up, safe. Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> I also have my watch too, where it gets text messages. So. <laughs> Marcus looking extra ugly today, right? Yeah. <laughs> to yeah, the group chat with both of us in it. All right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're, you're, like, this is terrible content, you guys. <laughs> <All right. laughs> texting each other. <laughs> and, you know, whatever. Honestly, I look good today. I got my. <laughs> do you want to say what I said? <laughs> I'll say it. Let's see. Oh, I don't have it because you texted. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, like, yeah, spo like spoiled mustard <laughs> left out in the sun. <laughs> First of all, I don't think mustard spoils. I don't think it does. It's kind of the perfect the only, condiment. <laughs> the only, if, unless it's at the top where it gets all crusty if you leave it, you know, like, oof. And it turned, never mind. This is stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to derail the <laughs> Anyway, what I did want anyway. to those, talk about was um, this is, we're approaching the first quarter of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and, not only is the year flying by very fast, um, which happens as you get older, um, 
I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about, um, cause we talked about, I don't know, I think it was a new year's one where like just yeah. leveling up ripped and rich 2023 or that was right. my thing mostly. Um, just like progress and doing the thing you want to do. How do you feel at the first quarter of the year? I feel like How do you feel like the where you're where you're at there. I feel like I've leveled up a bit. Okay. I've let, but I've let like too much stuff shake me up to where I gotta just keep going strong and okay. and be be more accountable. Like I think now, I think now I'm ready to go do open mics. Oh, I think I'm ready to get back out there. I gotta do it because you just gotta I'm, jump off the plank. Yeah, and I'm like I'm real quick to like let like life events get me down and like let life just push me down. But it's like, like stuff like stand up is, it's like a safe space to, I mean, you could rant about what's going on in your life, but you could also use that to just get away from it all. Mm -hmm. And I think that I'm ready to go do that again. I bought, I bought this journal specifically to be like more for jokes. Cause even like the last one, it's like, Oh, well it was at the, a certain point it was filled up with like, just complaining and I'm like, yeah. I don't even want to look at that again. Cause it's like, I, I want to just something fresh uh -huh. and to just go out and get it. Uh huh. Just go out and slay. <laughs> go out and slay. Uh, and yeah. Slay. How do you feel getting into the quarter? Well, before me, I think you're ready yeah. for stand up or to open mics. Like to just do, do something. it. Just do it. Just go out there and do it. it. I think that's the, it's, you have to just make it a priority. Yeah. And like, hey, I'm not gonna go out to letter two letter location tonight. I'm gonna go do find yeah. a mic somewhere instead. Which this can also lead into before we get to that. Well, okay. okay, okay. Let me talk about. So, I know you're gonna real say real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I think that that instead of you should be prioritizing that instead of like in the moment stuff. It was like well, yeah. maybe, maybe scope for the future a little bit and instead of like oh I want to go have fun tonight. It's like well. Like, don't fuck it. Like, rein it in and be like, yeah, it'll be time for that later. I can yeah. let me let me work on what I need to do in order to succeed mm -hmm. or to do what I want to do. Um, I think you should start doing that more. Yeah, and I think, you know, I don't know how you feel, but like now is a good time to be like to really be like, okay, the first quarter is over. Yeah, and have you done that? Not really, but you know, start doing it. Yeah, and it's not too late. It's not too late. It's a good time. Anybody else out there, it's not too late to just go out and get it again. No, I don't think it's ever too late. It's ne really never too late, but it does feel good when it's not like November. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to now try to eat healthy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to now start working out. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I don't think that it matters when in the year you start doing it, just as long as you start doing it. Yeah. Because if you think of your life from birth to death there's no like oh this year this year this year mm -hmm. it's just this is the start this is the finish so just start doing it you know yeah. you don't have to wait until like this time and then i can start doing it so i mean in, in that way like i don't it doesn't matter but but for me because mm -hmm. you know it's all about me oh my god <laughs> um i've been very happy with the first quarter of this you year. haven't been happy oh, wow been very happy been very happy you have been happy. i have been very happy um happy. I feel like I've leveled up a lot. Um, been writing every day. I missed mm -hmm. a day two, two days ago because I was working all day. Yeah. But that's part of getting rich. And um, <laughs> yeah, I've been writing every day. I've been happy every day. I've been like, every day is great. Like, I look forward to each new day. That's good. Um, I feel a lot funnier. Mm -hmm. I feel a lot more creative. Um, I feel great. That's great. I'm is happy. there is there anything you would like to to share that you wrote or any like idea or just like a um, budding idea? Not yet. Not yet. No, That's it's okay. like the writings. I do want to share some stuff, but maybe not through this medium because it's. I don't want to just sit here and read what I wrote. I, yeah. I, I don't know how it would work because it's not necessarily funny writings all the time. Yeah. Um. It's just like I don't want to share it here. That's cool. So we actually talked about that not too mm -hmm. long ago about expanding this in some way to incorporate that but yeah i feel great yeah. um, i'm happy with the first quarter um i'm really i've been i've had a good year i've had a good i've had a good like 
2020, like the last part of 2022 mm-hmm. into this first part of the year has been very great. And yeah. um, I'm, ex- I'm excited to see where this year's going. Mm-hmm. And um, this is a good first quarter. I like it. I'm happy. Nice. Um, but back to what you were going to say. Yes. Um, go ahead and you, okay, peace. Let's get a drink first. <clears throat> go ahead and start how you were going to start it. So, I mean, I know, I know, uh, I know I have a problem with saying no Mm -hmm. and with people pleasing because I do like to make people happy and I do like to do that. But then it it ends up with me making all these people happy and then I kind of have to deal with my own stuff and then I'm not ready to deal with my own stuff Mm -hmm. because I haven't thought about it enough. And sometimes I do that too where I'm like, oh, I'll just help this person out so that it could distract me from what I have to do. And yeah. I'm yeah, I'm just not good at, at saying no to people. Yeah. It's hard. It's really hard. But like I do it here and there, but now I'm like, it's my birthday next week. Sure. And I think I want to give myself the gift. Oh. I want to give myself the gift of no. Okay. But this is something that I know you're really good at. So yes. I'd like to hear some tips on how to say no. Okay. So after what you just said about people pleasing Mm -hmm. um you got to put yourself first more than you think you do so absolutely if it's worth being there for other people when they need it yeah you can do that but there are situations where you have to put yourself first and um to just do what you want to do or just to better yourself or to just you know you i I, want to go do an open mic instead of going to this thing so i'm going to do that instead and that's okay and, um, you know, learning the power of no is just, there's a lot of power in that and saying no to somebody or no to anything. Cause it is, it's putting, it's putting yourself first when you need to. And, you know, depending on who you're interacting with, when you say that they could take it a certain way and then that's on them, Yeah, you know? So I think like you said, I'm good at saying no to people. It's cause I'm, I, for for me, I have to put myself first in a lot of situations. Otherwise, I'm just I I get depressed, you know. Yeah. Or like if I'm not doing something that I don't want to do, and um, or whatever, whatever it is. And you know, I'm fortunate that the people closest to me know that. Mm-hmm. And so when I say no to them, they don't really care. They're like, oh, he's that's him. Yeah. So I don't know. And then it also makes the times. When you like, if, and so in terms of when you're um, like socializing with other people, if you make it infrequent, the times that it happens make it's more special. Mm-hmm. Like if I were to hang out with you, uh, we do this every week. But like, say we were being, we were going to Arc every Friday yeah. for drinks and something. Like it's it's just routine at that point, point. Mm-hmm. and it's like, what is this? Even, other than this, just being like what we do on this day at this time. What is what are we getting out of this? Yeah, because you know? so, I hit that point a lot. I yeah, hit that, I hit that wall where I'm like, what am I doing here? Yeah, it's like and like for the things that you're talking about, yeah. I, what I know, what I know is like, like you, everybody knows you. They're all saying mm-hmm. hi. Like this, the conversations are all the same. Yeah. Like nothing has been new for yeah. since you saw them last, mm-hmm. and it's you know, it just. It's just a routine at that point to where it's not special. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, like, it's not, I don't don't want to sound arrogant or pretentious, but just like putting yourself first isn't bad. Mm -hmm. Because like at the end of the day, you're all you have really. Yeah. You know, even if you were married and had kids, like that could end one day. And your kids, if you have kids, they're going to go do their own thing one day and you're just stuck with you. Yeah. So... You have to prioritize yourself in a lot of situations. Again, if someone else needs, like, if you got in a car accident, yeah, I'm going to come help you. I'm not going to say no. (laughs) Oh, God. Think about me right now. Yeah. (laughs) Jesus. Can you pick me up? Well, I'm actually going to put myself first right now, and I'm going to have to (laughs) say no. It's like the worst time to do it. Um, if you want, I will call 911 for oh. you. I mean, I mean I, it's going to be a fucking chore. But it's going to be a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Situations like that, obviously, is different. But in terms of, you know, like, you want to go to the bar on Friday? No, I don't. I want to work on this thing that I'm working on instead. Yeah. Or I want to do, I don't want to go to that place. I want to go to this other place that I've never been to and I've been wanting to try. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to do that instead. 
And it's very empowering to say no to people. Not in a mean way, but I don't know. I've been yeah. doing it for most of my life. I don't know mm-hmm. where I learned it from. Probably just from being alone all the time. But I don't know. It, it, I, when I see it in people like you that don't know how to do it, it's just like, man, I wish they knew how to do that. It just looks so obvious to you? Yeah, or it's like, it's just like, stop it. Because <laughs> <laughs> like with you especially, it, you know, like you always have something to say about it afterwards. Like, I didn't like always doing the thing. About it. Yeah. It's like, you don't have to do the thing. <laughs> you don't have to do it. You know, you can just say, no, thank you. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know. Learn the power of no. Power it's, of no. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a story of an example. Of, you, know, you know how I run this podcast business? Yeah. Yes. And sometimes, uh, you know, not you guys. You guys are always on top of it when it comes to sending stuff. That I Cheers. Need. Cheers. Cheers. Um, I was late this week, though, but I'll admit. <laughs> but I, 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 had to, I had a lot of work and a lot of stuff going on, but okay. Sometimes you'll get a request like, hey, here's everything I need. Can you have this done tomorrow? And sometimes I'd be like, yeah, I can. And then I don't sleep. And then I feel like shit. And I'm like, oh. I should have just said no. So now mm-hmm. I'm trying to embracing like, if you do, um, I, I'm going to charge you extra or I really yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. Well, that's the same thing. That's the same Creating thing as putting yourself first boundaries. and be like, yeah, yes, I can do this. However, it's going to cost you more money. Yeah. So that's also putting yourself first because that's your time and your business and your finances. So in that situation, that's kind of the same thing, like the power of no. So, um, yeah, yeah it's right because it's a boundary. It's a boundary yeah, that you need is. to set up. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, I'll do this, but it's going to be a price. And the more that you do it to people, like like I just said with me, they'll know. Like, okay, they won't have, they will not take offense to it. Mm-hmm. Usually, sometimes they do. <laughs> um, they won't take offense to it. It's like they're just now like, oh, he's he's doing his thing. You know, it's yeah. fine. So, I think you should strive <laughs> to say no this year. A little, little bit more. Don't go yeah, full. That's going to be. Don't go full dickhead like I do. Oh, no. Just be like, you know, I'm working on this thing. Because mm-hmm. my other reaction is like, and I've also learned this from reading uh, this book, No More Mr. Nice Guy. Oh. Where it's all about like. What's that about? So it's about mostly men, but it, it pertains to women too, because it's about men who like they they're they're raised and they believe that. I have to act a certain way and like that's going to benefit me the most. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, I need to people please because that's going to give me the biggest benefit. But what usually happens is you end up doing like if you're in a relationship, you do way too much for the other person and then Mm -hmm. you end up being like resentful. Yeah, You're like, why aren't you doing all that for me? And I would do that all the time in relationships where I'm like, I get you. I got you breakfast. I drove, but then at the end of the day, it's like, no, you became her chauffeur <laughs> and her Uber Eats guy, like without getting no, paid. You sh- without getting paid. Yeah, not you being got nothing from it, and because I, I would do that all the time. I would do that. I would get burned out, yeah. resentful, and then I would go to the next relationship just like that, <laughs> where I'm like, oh, I did so much for you. I got you these tickets. I drove. Yeah. I paid for everything. Ugh. It's like, well, no, I was just bad at spending money. I was just, I should have had boundaries set up. Yeah. I should have said, no, this is a me time thing. Because uh-huh. then a lot of times when you do set up the boundaries and you do say like, oh, I'm not looking into doing that. Then suddenly the the female or whoever you're dating is like, oh. And then they end up, like, like say you're with somebody and they complain about some work problem. Yeah. There's some examples from the book where a guy has like, he's like, I'm going to go off and do this other thing. And then they don't talk about the problem. And then when they go back to being with each other, she's all happy because she actually solved the problem on her own. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of like, oh, well, other people can solve their stuff themselves. Yeah. You don't need to fix everything. Right. That's another thing. I have like a, or had like a hero complex too. I think it was being raised Christian where you think you have to like save it, save everybody. Yeah. So now where it's like, eh, no, they got to do their own work. That kind of goes back to what I said last week about just being transparent with people and just being very like, this is what's happening. This is a thing. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I feel. Yeah. And it always, for me, usually, it always works out fine. So, yeah, you should just, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's like you set up a boundary and you you actually go for what you want. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're not going to try to get what you want, but it is about understanding who you are more. 
Yeah. Because a lot of times nice guys or girls, they they spend all the time pleasing other people and then they don't even know how to be pleased. Yeah. So then it's like, oh, those it's like I catch myself doing that when it's like it's coming up, my birthday's coming up. I'm Mr. Shout like out I don't even shout out 31. 31. Woo! Ten year yeah. anniversary of drinking. Oh my god. Whoop whoop. That's a very sad way to look at a birthday, but okay. <laughs> know, okay. Well, what else? What else Legal do you do for thirty first birthday? That birthdays don't mean anything after twelve. That's what I'm feeling. You know, like, who cares? Man. That's how I feel. It's like who cares? Another day. Yeah, but that's why. Like, it's a it's a time where I'm just so used to going to other people's birthdays and doing stuff for them all the time that when my birthday comes up, I'm usually like, eh, I don't really want to do anything. Mm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So now I feel like I gotta just do some solo thing for myself. What do you want to do? I don't know. I probably gotta go to some show. Probably gotta see some comedy. When's your birthday for people that don't know? April fifth. April fifth. Mm. Oh, so. this week, guys. This Cin- week. Cinco de April. Cinco Wednesday. de April. Avril. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't right. know. Maybe there's some show on Wednesday. Probably is. I'm probably free that night. <laughs> Because oh. oh. well, I normally would have been either way. Yeah, <laughs> it would have worked out. We're not gonna get into that. Not gonna get into that. <laughs> it's Aries season. Yeah. What up, Aries oh. season? Let's um, see. So yeah, okay. Know yourself. Know yourself. Just I said it. I want to make that into merch. Just be transparent and chill. And it's like a see-through shirt. Sufficient. <laughs> 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 Oh, be transparent <laughs> what's that word just like the shape opaque you know look opaque. at that like, like so these oh, lights when they had the thing so oh wow opaque so you like can kind of like see a shower through it. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah 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 like in a shower so you can kind of <laughs> see through it but not, of, but not you can still wear it outside wow. and not look have at, the cops call you're about. protecting people <laughs> <laughs> you think somebody's gonna call the cops if you wear a sheer shirt well, if it was totally, not, maybe not me, but say like a woman bought our merch, oh, yeah. like um, her tits are out, you know? <laughs> We're like, no, it's sheer. And that is a law. <laughs> it's, yeah, opaque. Sheer. it's opaque. It's opaque. It's opaque. It's blurred. <laughs> we did the job for you. Yeah. We censored it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's transparent and chill. Mm-hmm. Not Netflix, Netflix and chill, transparent and chill. Transparent and chill. Um, do you have anything else you want to talk about before we get into the few things that I pulled today? <laughs> I, I mean, Uncle's I've, busy, you guys. He's Uncle, got a lot of stuff going oh, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> I mean, I got, which, is, which is part of leveling up. I'm happy that I'm busy. I'm well, leveling up this year. So. Were you Were you going to pull up the... Oh, yeah, you were going to pull it up. So we'll talk about that when that happens. Do you want to... Okay. The white, the white news. <laughs> oh, so we talked about old whites last time and how we love the old whites. And mm-hmm. I'm glad we closed on that because I loved that little... <laughs> That little button on the end of our last podcast. It was so great. We love the, we love the old whites. Here. Love the old whites. We love the old whites. We love their work. Yes, we love their work. I, I hope to be half of one of them one day because mm-hmm. I'm only half white. But Ooh. So I pulled this. Um, here it is. Some of you might know Gwyneth Paltrow is being sued right now because of this guy. Well, not forget this headline for a second. There's a guy that's suing her for, he claims... And as of now, this trial has been the verdict's over. Mm -hmm. But he claims that she ran into him while they were skiing. Okay. So from what I know, before we get to this, from what I know, I don't know a lot (laughs) about this. They were on um, a bunny slope or an easier easier mm-hmm. slope and Gwyneth Paltrow had a instructor with her yeah that probably probably getting paid like 200 bucks an hour and her kids were there too but the kids were like ahead of her I think okay and um this she the guy claims that he hit her she she's she's wait the guy claims that she hit him yeah he she says he hit her that was a he said she said um so I guess they hit each other, and then um, they have a squall. I don't know what really happens between them, but then she skis off, and the instructor <laughs> stays behind to take care of everything. Because mm-hmm. when you get hit on, then you have a collision <clears throat> on a ski slope or a snowboarding slope, you're supposed to exchange information, all that. Uh, are case, you? Yeah. Huh. Um, you're supposed to like in case there's an injury. Like remember how um, Liam Neeson's wife died, oh, Natasha yeah. Richardson. Mm-hmm. She hit a tree, I think. She hit some collided with something else, but then she died because she had brain swelling. Yeah. Like they didn't know. She didn't know. So like in case there's an injury, like say so this guy claimed he had all kinds of injuries. And so 
if you exchange information, you'd be like, hey, I've got these injuries from this incident. Now I know that I have them. Let's work this out. Yeah. So I guess, I don't know, they didn't exchange information, whatever. So now this was, I think, seven years ago, 2016. So he's suing her. Um, oh. But it's just a really, like this <laughs> This headline is saying she looks like Jeffrey Epstein. That's not what I thought it was. There's a picture of her looking like Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh. And that's probably why I pulled this in. This is not the right article, but <laughs> there's a picture of her. If you can find it, Caesar, throw it in here somewhere where she had the Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. Oh, yeah. And she's in a like courthouse. Like Chrissy, Chrissy Stefano. Like, yeah, Chrissy D sunglasses. He was wearing those. I think oh. he wore those before this. He did. I don't know. It's yeah, he weird, did. Look weird at, the timing. Look, look at her face right here. I know. She's... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she was, it's, it's just a funny, it's another celebrity court case like the Johnny Depp and Amber mm-hmm. Heard, which we thought was the trial of the century. That was so big. You know, there was poop involved. Man. This ooh. one's really funny. More funny because it's, um, it's just so first world problems that because the the guy that she hit is a um, an optometrist I think so mm-hmm. a doctor you know he's probably got a very nice living very comfy living and then she's you know rich as fuck <laughs> and it's like why you would think they wouldn't have to go to trial for this they'd just be like hey you know whatever and. Um, I know it's kind. Of, I think it's kind of cool that she was actually like, instead of just settling, she was like, "No, let's bring this to trial. I'm gonna, you know, make this a, a fun event." <laughs> or she's probably. I, I'm guessing this is publicity for her in some mm-hmm. way. Um, some but what were you gonna say about it before I? Before, so I I'm just. Well, talking. I'm looking at a video where. Uh, so it's, it's Doctor Doctor Sanderson's lawyer. Oh, that's what I was gonna. She's yeah. amazing. She is. She's. <laughs> You she's think she's so a great funny. attorney? You think no, she's a good attorney? I don't think she's okay. very good. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's an amazing because the video is not here, but so this attorney is straight fangirling mm-hmm, the over whole time. Gwyneth Paltrow. She's very starstruck. Yeah, and so when they're um, what's it called? What's it called when they fucking they're like interviewing the witness? I don't know. I forget what it's called. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not cross lobby. examining. Yeah, Ooh. cross examining. Thank you. There thank we you. go. Team D. Oh, thank you. Um, she's asking her stupid questions. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, how tall are you? Yeah. Oh, she, because <laughs> you know, she, she's like, and and so, so you're saying you're about five five. I'm about five five with heels on. Someone please tell me I'm tall. And Quinn Felder was like, you're pretty tall. You're pretty fit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so she does that, and then she's, she's so like, funny. do you know Taylor Swift? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she's like. Well, not really, but I, you know, yeah. And she's like, "Oh, did you? I heard she gave you a gift one oh, time." Oh like, no! And you're like, <laughs> "Tell us, please, <laughs> yeah. spill the tea, too. <laughs> spill like, the tea. You're on trial." <laughs> yeah, she's like, "I don't know what Gwena says, but she's just like, um, you know, muffin." I don't know what she says, but like, it's like this attorney is so like you realize everyone's watching this mm-hmm. right now. You know, you're you're a big news article, and you're. You're fangirl, fangirling over the witness. <laughs> and um, it was just a really funny trial. Um, obviously, Gwyneth Paltrow is an actress. So when you see her giving her answers, responses, it's very, it's very, she's acting. You know, yeah. she's like, um, yes, I would say that, you know, I didn't know what was happening at the time. Like, it was very. That's an incredible Gwyneth Paltrow. Thank you. Wow, is she here? Like, she I thought, yeah. wow. So are you friends with Taylor Swift? <laughs> you know, she did send me a basket of mini muffins once. Oh, wow. Hmm. They were that blueberry, be... my least favorite. So, Oh, must be nice. Oh. I made sure to send them back. Um, so no blueberries anymore. Okay. No. <laughs> I can go without um, those. It's just uh, old whites. Yeah, old whites. Old whites. Gotta yeah. love the whites. I love the old whites. And White then, news. And it's funny because she countersued him for $1. Again, a Taylor Swift thing. Taylor mm-hmm. Swift did that as well. And it's like, why? Like, what is this? What is this supposed to be here? It's obvious. This is all a big publicity thing. I don't know. She hasn't acted a whole lot lately, so maybe she's trying to get back in the limelight maybe. somehow. I don't know. She but she has that goop stuff. Goop. So I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, it was, I thought it was interesting. <laughs> Trial of the century. So big. Yeah. And she won. Yeah. So today she won. Which, if you watch any of the trial. Obviously, she was going to win because <laughs> that fucking attorney didn't know what the hell she was doing. Man, we need some more trials like that, though. Yeah. 
Who should get sued next? Yeah, like it has to be something like just so trivial where it, like it doesn't really matter who wins or loses. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, like this. this. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Because he was only seeing three hundred thousand, mm-hmm. which that's a lot of money. But for Gwyneth Paltrow, that's not a lot of money. So that's why I was saying like you would think she would be like, yeah, here, whatever, take yeah. it. But she's like, no, 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 we're going to court <laughs> and we're making this a story because I want to be in the news right now. Mm-hmm. Well, um, it's also, th- I mean, 300,000, like you, she wouldn't just throw that away. Like if it was 30,000 and somebody was trying to be like, okay, yeah. take yeah. the bullshit, whatever, right. but 300? I don't know. I feel like it's for a statement. I feel like for her, she'd still be like, yeah, whatever. You know, this, and at I first don't... it was 3 million. Oh, it was? That's what it says. Oh. But then it changed. That's quite a difference from 300,000. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what happened. Yeah, it's just one. Of, it's funny because it's, it's um, it's a he said she said thing. Mm-hmm. Where like nobody, nobody really knows except for them, them two, and because that attorney sucked ass, <laughs> <laughs> they decided to go with her. <laughs> Man, you gotta you gotta screen them, screen your attorney yeah. next time. Well, I I'm sure she can afford a much better attorney than he can. Yeah. So there's that too. <laughs> anyway, good for her. Yeah. And good good for him. It's good for uh, Goop. Um, good for goop. Go- goop doesn't need any help. They're selling those pussy candles. <laughs> oh my god! Going out like hotcakes. Yeah, <laughs> hotcakes. Sh- like slurp. Hot ca- <laughs> Next sell them, we just got to go in here and light it up. Yeah, I am actually right here. curious <laughs> to know what it is if it actually smells like a pussy. The like part of the ritual of the show is to always have a candle light. <laughs> <pussy candle. laughs> Remember the last episode? <laughs> okay, Some well, part. I'm gonna buy one then, and, and we'll we'll do a, a live review of the pussy candle mm-hmm. <laughs> sounds like pennies like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> do you think it really i uh, will find, we'll find out we'll find out we'll find out we'll see how long it actually no i'll do it later <laughs> i want to see, I see how much it costs right <laughs> i want to see how much it costs if it's like 200 bucks then we're not doing it. yeah <laughs> but it's like it, if it's 50 bucks i'll do it but yeah because i imagine right. it's going to be expensive um so this next story mm-hmm. is not about pussy candles okay. but so this old lady it took me 960 tries to get my license at 69, and it cost me thousands of dollars. So this lady, as I understand it, took her driver's driving test 960 times. Good God. Until she finally passed. Um, she, had, I, It's in here somewhere, but I don't want to find it. She had taken a written test just uh-huh. as many times. And um, she was going like once a week to try and get this test because she has a business where she needs to drive. Man. Um, in, or, in order to um, to function, it's like a delivery <laughs> business, I think, or she delivers oh. vegetables. I don't, I don't remember. But she ended up spending. Um, this she's in the UK, mm-hmm. so it was under euros. But I think it ended up being like thirteen thousand US Oof. dollars. So, what taking classes? I, you have to pay for it. I, I think you have to pay to take the test. What? I think we have to pay here to take the test. Do we? I think so. It's not a lot, but I yeah. think just the amount of times that she... Look at her. God. Jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so she passed, but I think it's safe to say she should not have a driver's license if it mm-hmm. took her 960 times to to pass. If it takes you 960 times to do anything... You probably shouldn't be probably doing should it. Just and it, I think at the at 959, they were like, you know what? <laughs> just give her the thing. <laughs> if she gets into an accident, more money for the States or, this, or for this in the UK, mm-hmm. you know? Country's got it. Yeah, I could help times. her out. Man, just do, get an Uber, or hire a driver. Hire a driver. Yeah, put that money towards the driver, or just drive illegally. Yeah, whatever. So what? Who cares? Unless she's crashing into things. Did you not? Did you pass your driver's test on the first try? Not the first time. Oh, I took it twice. Oh, you took it nine hundred and sixty times. Just about. Oh my goodness. Nine uh, fifty nine. Took it twice. I passed on my first try. Mm-hmm. I heard, I. Remember the lead up to it was a very stressful thing. Yeah. So when I was going to get my driver's license, um, I did it in high school. I took the driver's ed class. Mm-hmm. And then there was a driver training that I had to do. And I did that through school as well. And then went to the DMV to get it done. And I, I remember in that class and in the driver's training, they made it sound like it was going to be the, one of the most difficult tests you can take. Take everything extremely seriously when you're turning, when you're turning, or when you're, you know, checking your mirrors to like make sure you're like turning your head completely so they can see that you're turning your head. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember when I took the test, it was not that big a deal. It was very, it was simple. Yeah. Um, I, I know one time, one specific part of that test, 
I was making a right hand turn and there was a pedestrian going across and I think it's the law that you have to wait till they're out of the crosswalk before you can turn. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I did that. <laughs> and then I turned and the guy was like, you know, you don't have to wait. You don't really have to wait until they're uh, completely gone. You just have to make sure you don't hit them. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this, if it was just a driver test, the instructor that I got was very like, yeah, good. Like you're fine. But it was not a hard thing. It was very chill, very relaxed. And afterwards I was like, all right, that was that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, this lady, I don't know who was teaching her how to drive. But... Man, having to give that test must be the worst job. Yeah, because you probably get some bad drivers. Some really bad ones. People who like, clip other cars Ooh. and you're like while you're in the car too yeah you're just, you're just like <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's stop for a second i gotta get the license plate of the car you just hit <laughs> yeah so you didn't pass the first time no 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 it was in pomona that's where i took my test i was pulling out onto a street and you hit somebody no oh but the instructor like yanked it to the side as if we were like gonna get hit mm -hmm. i don't know i was a dumb kid maybe we we're i don't think we we're gonna get hit though mm -hmm. i was like i don't feel like that wasn't so necessary i don't know i think we would have been okay <laughs> i don't know my maybe, test i fail i passed it but with one point away from failing and uh, that's how i've been driving ever since <laughs> <laughs> have you been in any car accidents uh, a few but it, oh, most of the time <laughs> most of the time it's not my fault like i would say yeah. only one time it was Twice it was my fault. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, three. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, driving 960, 960. That's crazy. You'd think that her I'd picture... Give up after like 10. Her picture would be up at the DMV and be like, this lady's not going to pass. Don't let her in. Is. Yeah, don't let her in. <laughs> what's her name? Um, oh, it doesn't even say. Uh, what's your name, lady? Uh, let's call her... Sassoon. Sassoon? Cha Sassoon. Underneath the picture right there. It says, uh, oh, yeah, Cha Sasu. Cha Sasu. Cha Sasu. Grandmother. A grandmother from South Korea. Cha oh, Sasu. She looks so happy there, though. Mm. Okay. Whatever. Man, 13. Shout out, Cha. I'm glad you got your test. Chop, cha. Um, I said that one already. So, this next one, I don't know why I just assumed you played water polo. What? It's because you're white, I guess. <laughs> but, I mean, all the, all, yeah. I don't know what it was like in your guys' high schools, but all those <laughs> swim related sports, everybody was white. Mm -hmm. There was not. Asian, Latin, definitely not black. Oh. There was no one other than white playing those sports. Yeah. Was it like that at your school too? A little bit. A little bit? Maybe some not all of them. Latinas. Oh. Well, Filipino progress. Friends. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> Good for them. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I thought so. But I, I had a friend who was on the water friend i knew somebody yeah you I don't have friends, friends. <laughs> i was i was casually <laughs> acquainted with someone who sat next to me in one of my classes who uh -huh. was a water polo team who would tell me about some of the stuff they did in water polo did you know that in water polo whatever happens under the water is like anything goes i thought so so like there's scratching there's pulling there's grabbing there's hitting all kinds of shit going on mm -hmm. underneath the water so this one i saw female water polo 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 player Nina Flynn accused of inappropriate touching during a match. I wanted to be Ooh. like, isn't that part of the? Don't they do that the all game? the time? Yeah. Why would? What could she have done? She, she, it doesn't say what she did. Touch the private parts oh, of her opponents oh, during okay. a match. That's part of it. So what? I, like <laughs> the the associate associate acquaintance that I was not friends with would say like, yeah, guys all the time will grab your grab your nuts and stuff oh. or hit it. As a means to like, because it's an aggressive sport. That's you know, you up. have to like, basically, rugby, I guess. Yeah. In the water. Yeah. So yeah, it happens all the time. They just they do whatever they do whatever they can to get you to mm -hmm. not perform properly or whatever. So this, I was like, why, why, why did she get suspended? Ooh. And this would be better if you played water polo, which I thought you did and you don't. So, <laughs> oh, this poor girl. Yeah. She looks like a water polo player. There are no exceptions with definition so broad. Every water polo game, male or female, is full of such title water violations. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, so she got in trouble. Then who made a GoFundMe for her? Um, GoFundMe. Her teammates. Oh. A parent of one of the teammates. For oh, legal, legal defense, so she's wow. getting 
It's getting real. Yikes. Yeah. No, I tried water polo once, and that was the worst thing ever. What was so bad about it? To swim the whole time. Mm-hmm. Can you swim That's that That's why they're all in really good shape. Well, yeah. Um, I'm a pretty strong Floating swimmer. around. I'm not, I'm not the best swimmer, but I'm pretty... Yeah. Compared to, like, when I've been to pools or the beach with other people, I'm a pretty strong swimmer. Mm-hmm. I, I don't mind treading water for long periods of time. No, I, I, did, I did wrestling... So some water polo players also wrestled. Mm-hmm. So that helped them with water polo. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's just like swimming, wrestling while you're swimming too. Yeah, there's no, yeah, you can't, there's no, they're never not moving mm-hmm. or not doing something. And then they were really big on shaving everything. The water polo? Yeah. Thing, so. Okay. That's what you got to do. Their <laughs> hair would turn green. Yeah. That's the, the chlorine. Chlorine. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. yeah. No thanks. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the water sports mm-hmm. of any kind, <laughs> even that kind, which you two didn't get at all, so that's fine. <laughs> I'll, let no, you know, I I'll let you know after the pod what that means. Caesar, did you do any sports? Uh, I did track and cross track. country, so oh. I ran a lot. I, oh. And I did it just to stay in shape. I didn't really care. Yeah. I, well, honestly, I did it because uh, the girlfriend I had in, the, in freshman year, she did soccer and you needed to do it. So I was like, oh, I'll hang out with her. And we yeah. broke up like before the school year even started. Oh, no. Because she cheated on me oh, with damn. another guy named Caesar. Oh. What are the odds? I know. His name was oh. Caesar Hernandez. And my name Ooh. is Cesar Rodriguez. Uh, That's his evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she got confused. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe she did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the Wait, other Hernandez? Yeah. Hernandez? Shoot. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Rodriguez. <sighs> Are you sure? <laughs> well, she ended up a teen mom. So her oh, mom. <laughs> teen mom. That was the other thing. On the wrestling team, we had two players who both had kids. Dang. Like they had kids and it must have been junior high junior high yeah because they were they're two years older than me and then a year older than me and they had little babies at the wrestling tournament wow good for that i was like man someone's got to teach him to wrap it up where was this in chino hills oh my god that's yeah. interesting too because in chino hills when i don't know about is what happens with the guys but if there was a pregnant girl they would kick your ass out of school and they send you off to the the bad kid school, oh. which I thought was really interesting. Does that still happen? I don't know why they would change that, know. but you, I think it's just because, from what I understood, is that they don't want to promote teen pregnancy. Or oh, it's like, maybe. how is that a promotion for it? It sounds. It's like like a yeah a down, downgrade. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a punishment mm-hmm. to be kicked out of school for being pregnant. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had to go to the. I don't know what the name. I forgot what it was called. You probably well, Buena Vista, BB, Buena Vista, um, which was like the problem kid school, where it's yeah. like you're putting pregnant ladies in this school with the other problems. Yeah, with the other uh, problem kids. No, no. I remember it was bad. There was one girl. I don't remember her name, but she was just gone one day, <laughs> and then it was like it was found out like oh she got pregnant, mm-hmm. so they kicked her ass out of school. Oh, so that was sad. I don't Poor think girl. they it. I guess it depends on the income of the city. It's like, it's like a lower income city. They're not going to care. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Just go. Keep her in there until she's nine months. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you better have it, though. Yeah, she better show up and do her homework. <laughs> Who cares? Um, so last week we had an astrology mm-hmm. thing. And so I pulled another one today. Okay. And um, these are the three biggest... Well, what time are we at, actually? We're at 47. Okay. These are the three biggest sore losers in astrology based on their zodiac sign. Okay. And um, surprise, surprise, two of them are in this room <gasps> right now. Oh, so. no. <laughs> How did I lose? Oh, that's why I thought it was interesting. So we'll start with I number one, it. Aries. What? <laughs> How did we lose? Elton and John. Elton John. What? <laughs> Aries is a cardinal fire in the first sign of the zodiac. As such, they come out of the gate and the womb wanting more, wanting to be first, wanting it now, and wanting always to win. Competition is a kind of a Darwinian survival tactic for these people. Mm-hmm. Con- contention makes them feel alive, and winning is what makes them feel worthy. Yeah. Add, the, add to this final Aries, add to this, wait a minute, add to this that Aries people loathe pity more than the show <laughs> lane, and losing naturally invites it. Examples. Of, I don't want to give. Oh wait, wait. Examples of an Aries in a what the hell? Raquel Citrin. What is that word? Where are you at? 
right here. Rack house entrant. Right. I don't know what that is. Whatever. Action include Eddie Murphy storming out of the 07 Oscars when the award for Best Supporting Actor went to Alan Arkin. Bill <laughs> Berlichet walking off the Super Bowl field. In <laughs> Wait, o- one more time. Bill Berlichet walking off the Super Bowl field <laughs> in 08. Belichick? Belichick? Belichick. Shut up. <laughs> I speak English. Walking off the Super Bowl field in 08 with one second left on the clock and... Loss imminent, and Elton John using the platform of an, of an acceptance speech to blast fellow nominee Madonna for lip syncing. I adios and meal. Just, Even though I just said I like to speak English, I read Spanish right there. <laughs> In other forms of fire, LeBron James, your favorite, who has an Mom. Aries moon, famously refused to participate in the congratulatory handshake after the team was defeated in the 09 Eastern Conference Finals. Those are such Bitch. weird references, though. That's yeah, it's like point. just because these certain people did that, and those, they're everybody that's Aries. I think those three I times. I think these are just an example for people to know. And they're oh, all dated yeah, yeah. though, too. <laughs> like, give me something that happened. Okay, recently. Easy sore loser. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Spoken from the infernal heart of someone who can't accept the second best. <laughs> Do you think that that accurately accept? Are you are you a sore loser? Yeah, I don't like losing. Okay, I hate losing. All right, that comes from your Aries ish. I think it does. All right. It's rough. See, it's hard. So number two in here is Leo, which is me. Ooh, nice. I don't necessarily mind losing. So let's see what this has to say. Leos are ruled by the sun and truly want everyone to shine. So long as they remain the supreme source of light, praise, and importance. Being the best is a blood sport to these people. And winning is, evident, as, is evidence that they are as special as they desperately need to believe that they are. Wow. Mm. That's insane. There can only be one, folks, and you better effing believe that no one is a lion. <laughs> Examples of Leo's being bad losers include Angel's no clap for my competition. Angela, Angela Bassett. I said Angel's. <laughs> Angela Bassett. So that's recent. Wrestler Ara Abrahamian. Abrahamian? Abrahamian. Abrahamian, who had to be physically restrained from attacking oh, the shit. Olympic judges that found him wanting... I found him wanting... AA, then made this is on him typed. wanting AA, wanting. who was era, era, whatever. Oh, then made the Greg egregious move of throwing his bronze medal oh, to the wow. ground during the award ceremony. Wow, poor form. poor form, poor sport. Mars's Leo native Donald Trump, who was willing to incite a riot rather than <laughs> wow, he's go, they're going straight for the. June's January 6th thing? Oh my God. I don't think this is a January. Is that that one? I don't know. know. Pushing calls, taking losses. I don't know. It is a reference. Oh, it is. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought it was part of Serena Williams. Sorry. And then it, yeah, tried to reference Serena Williams for some reason. And Serena Williams, a fellow Mars and Leo who has a bit long history of refusing handshakes, questioning calls, and taking losses, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, I guess they're a little avoidant when they lose. Oh, they're just pissed. Like, they're very like meh, 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 meh about losing, which mm-hmm. I don't think that I'm like, I don't I know if so. you have an example of me losing to something that we've done, but I feel like if I were to lose, the only thing maybe I, like the cozy, cozy thing. Maybe <laughs> that was really hard for you to admit that you didn't say the right thing, but that I didn't but say the right then, thing either. <laughs> yeah. It's like then we didn't, we were both wrong. It's because we're the both, both the losers. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in terms of, I think this means competition, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I, like, if I were to lose, the only, only thing way. I could think of losing in a competition with you would be, like, Mario Kart or, like, something, yeah, something that like that. Yeah, would that feel weird? Where I wouldn't care. Mm-hmm. I'd probably win. <laughs> but wow. in the off chance that I wow, did. Leo. Lose, well, what about all those times that we would play fighting games? You are and, really like, good. But I didn't know how to play them, and you guys didn't, so there was yeah, that. Yeah, so there was upper So, hand. I don't know. I don't, I feel like this is not me, but... Mm-hmm. Maybe I haven't lost at the right thing. Maybe. Maybe if I was in a competition for... Something you really care about. Yeah. Then I might I might wow. feel this way, but I don't know what it would be. Maybe. And the third one is Scorpio, but none of us eh, are Scorpio. So and this guy looks like a fucking loser. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to try say, to say, say his name. Say his name, man. <laughs> Evgeny? Evgeny Plushenko. Plushenko. Evgeny Plushenko. Silver will never suffice. Scorpios are concerned with sex. Ooh. Death and shadows, which I don't want to talk about that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that was the last thing I pulled for today. Oh, so, man. what else you got? Let's see. Okay, Jenna Ortega, <laughs> oh, my Jenny God. Ortega. Make sure you know this timestamp <laughs> in case you have to cut this. <laughs> Shut up. 
Go ahead. Talk Ted about Ortega. it. Say. No, let's. Uh, no, go on. You... Say it. <laughs> say it. What are you going to say about Jenna Ortega? Yeah. Why do you Why do you think people like her? I, I think she's just the thing right now. You know, like the there's always like yeah, there's a, always like eight girls. Yeah. yeah, there's always like a trendy girl who's just popular to be popular. I guess. Um. To, okay. I don't. I'm not a huge. I'm not a fan of Jenna mm-hmm. Ortega. I've only seen her in Scream, the Scream movies, and in yeah. X, in X. And she's fine. She's a fine actress. I'm not. I don't. I don't really get the whole like appeal. Yeah, I think maybe because she was in Wednesday, and that was a huge success that yeah. she's like blowing up. But she's fine. Like I'm not. Mm-hmm. I don't really know. I don't get it. I think she's too young to know if she's very good at this. I think it's like, but it's also weird because it's it's well, like independent, people independent of her. Then she's like, why do you young? Like she's no got a long, what it, long time ahead of her. Right. So no, forget about what she thinks. Why do yeah. you think that everyone else is so enamored with? I her? I think they just they do love that Wednesday show. That's got to be it. It's yeah, Wednesday. I think they really just love it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's just it's the kind of fact that quirky she's in, that, right? in Wednesday, the fact that she's in Scream, like all these big projects that are like high profile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People are like, oh, hell yeah. Like this is the new person that we're going to like all stand on the internet, you know? Okay. Yeah. How long do you think it's going to Pedro lie? Pascal, but. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And he's like, not, I don't know. I guess he's accepted it, but he's not like trying to do that. Even <laughs> Pedro Pascal, he's fine. Yeah, he's like, cool. He's a fine he's actor, a good actor, but I don't, he's not amazing, you know? Yeah. I liked him on Game of Thrones. He doesn't have to do much for Mandalorian. He just does the voiceover. Yeah, he's got his head covered the whole time. You know? Yeah, and, and but at least him, like he's kind of a likable, likable guy in interviews. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, yeah, and it's not that Jenna Ortega isn't. It's just that she's just so like monotone and like like I watched yeah. her hot ones and she was just like chilling and I yeah. was like, <laughs> that's the thing. I I attempted to watch it and I was like, she's kind of boring. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't finish like, it. Like good for her, but I, then, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, they interviewed her for. I saw some scream interviews and she's very kind of like boring you know she's not really yeah. that interesting so i don't think she has like a persona, a she's persona a yet she's, she's got nothing there yet so it is interesting that she's blowing up yeah but then like you said there's like there's always it people we just like to just, blow it up yeah, yeah but it, but it like even like florence Pugh and like anya taylor joy oh, like yeah. those people you see them and you're like oh shit like i want to see what else they're gonna do next but yeah. with her it's like well i'll watch it i guess <laughs> <laughs> Hot take. I like Florence Pugh. She's a good actor. Florence Pugh, yeah, they're good. Yeah. Yeah, Anya, Anya Taylor, Taylor Joy. Joy. Did we talk about we her? We talked about her before. Oh, yeah. she looks. Okay. She's so distracting. Her mm-hmm. eyes, they're so far apart. Mm-hmm. She's like a deer. Ooh. A fawn. You're just like, because be... I watched the menu with her. <laughs> yeah. And I've, I've seen The Witch. Mm-hmm. And um, I've seen other stuff with her too, but she's always just so like, I'm just watching. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what's. It's just distracting, you know? <laughs> She's a good actress. You're just waiting for her to be like... <laughs> she turns into Black, <laughs> Black Phillip. <laughs> That's a witch joke, if you've seen a witch. Um, it's a goat. Black Phillip's a goat. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, yeah, she's going to be Peach. That'll be something. Mm-hmm. That comes out on your birthday. Wow. Wow. That's not a good gift, though. Let's not do that to you. Super Mario. Chris <laughs> Brattier is Mario. <laughs> I'm a New York plumber. Hey, where's my brother Luigi at? Oh, hey, man, where are we going to go? Charlie. Dan. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no, we're pulling down a tube. Oh, man. Oh, brother, where are we going? <laughs> oh, Jack Black. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and there's a Mario movie. <laughs> that was the whole movie. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> no. what, What's our time? 57. Okay, we can stop with that. <laughs> uh, with that great content, um, we'll wrap it up for episode 42, Three. Three? 43, 43 of the 30s podcast. We're getting Four. closer to 50. When is our year anniversary? When? Yeah, it's oh, got to be soon, it I think right? it's in August, right? Let's see. I thought it was in June. Well, I mean, our personal anniversary with Caesar. Oh, with Caesar, yeah. I'll look it up right that now. Okay, well, we'll find out. But we're, we're approaching our one year anniversary mm-hmm. doing this. Um, kind of went by kind of fast. It was pretty quick. Yeah. So your first episode was nine months ago. Oh. Okay. So three more months. Three more months. Yeah. Jeez. June. June? Do we start in June? July. June 9th. June yeah. 9th. June 9th. Okay, we're almost there. Wow. We'll have to do something extra special for that. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'll wrap it up for today. 
Thank you for being here, you guys. Caesar, do your thing. All right, you can follow me at uh, I am Caesar Rod. That's my personal one. If you want me to produce a show for you, you could hit me up at Rodriguez Podcasts on Instagram. I also do a radio show called The Rodriguez Show. And then lastly, Carla and Caesar's Modern Life on YouTube. That's another channel that I do with my wife, Carla, who will be on the show soon. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe next week. Next week? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, that'll be fun. We like having guests mm-hmm. on the show. You. The underscore Clint show. Here we go. Is that the right one? Let's make more content. Yeah, I looked at yes, it. It's right okay. here. <laughs> <laughs> it says get a verified badge. You can just get those now? Yep, $15 uh, a month. Oh, ew, no thanks. Oh, what is that? Instagram? Instagram. Yeah, yeah, and then what they do is they make your stuff more visible. So oh. I don't have to do that for the 30s. I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll fucking verify. I don't care. I have $15, whatever. <laughs> oh, we're oh ripped gosh. and rich in 2023. Ripped and rich. Um, Uncle Marcus, two underscores and everything. Uncle, two underscores Marcus and everything. Um, the 30s pod, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Please go to the YouTube. I don't know. The numbers have kind of gone down. I don't know why, but. I don't know. It's a weird hiccup that we're trying to figure out. So yeah, the shorts uh, are, are not. I think they changed the algorithm. And yeah, screwing uh, everybody over. <laughs> I think I'm saying fuck too much. So Great. oh, I don't know. Is it cleaning? Well, up? I'm not going to stop. So <laughs> um, <laughs> you want to be true to yourself. <laughs> um, you aren't. Yeah, the thirties pod and all the things. Thank you for being here, you guys. We'll see you again next time. See ya.